Hey guys, so some of you asked for a tutorial on our rain system, kind of pseudo liquid demo that we did, so I thought I should try this on. Um, so this is the result, and you can see it's quite a cool system. It's very nice that it's not a, a, like a full on liquid, which is actually difficult to create this effect with. And uh, this is much easier, um, art directable, and quick to set up and get results out of. So there is um, basically three components. There is the particles falling down, there is the splashes, and then there is the, the tails, like kind of the, the liquid running down the geometry. Uh, it's cool that it can use uh, it in a, with animated geometry or anything like that. So um, the whole thing is implementing thin particles, so the mesh uh, in Frost and render with Fire. And let me just run quite quickly through it. So, first the emission for the uh, sp uh, for the splash, and then I'm actually not gonna be talking about the the like the raining particles though because they are too trivial. So uh, the way the splash stuff works is that there is a, simply a plane on top and the particles getting on top of that plane and the uh, rays getting cast downwards um, to a geometry and the uh, splash is being created where the ray hits that geometry. So, so the cool thing about this is that we get shadowing effect so if there is something underneath here uh, geometry do not, does not get uh, any splashes. For example, you can see here his hand underneath the torso does not get any splash and stuff like that. So also, you know, like uh, under undersides of geometry don't get splashes. So only the the correct places. And we get the normal in the point of the intersect ray hit. So we can get some kind of a, like a direction of splash, which is uh, respecting the surface. So this stuff is yeah quite simple. Create particles on the surface of the emitter, project them downwards. Um, with intersect ray to, towards the collision geometry, um, move the particle to that position and save to normal. And then the splashes, simple position born, um, some amount of particles. We <coughs> set a reference so we can have a connection between the emitter particle and the splash particles, which we use to create stuff like, you know, randomization, you want something to be bigger, something to be smaller, uh, like different lifespans, whatever. And this is simply the way that, like, direction of the splash, I think right here, kind of implemented in a way which is a bit too, looks a bit too complicated, but it's nothing much more than a velocity which is shooting along the normal with some, with some noise, some deviation. And here, this value to value is just making a little bit of the splashes, big, and then most of them quite small, uh, which is the amount of velocity that they get. Now the <coughs> trail, which is the more interesting part, um, but again quite, quite simple. So you can see in the viewport, uh, the blue stuff is splash, and then the yellow stuff is the trail. So <coughs> it has a few components to its motion. Let's see. Um, the first thing is like um, there is a, a lead particle and there's tra trail particles and the lead particles get emitted from the from the like splash course because they would start at the right places <coughs> with some randomization of the in the size so this is how we make some particles some of the trails be quite big and most of them can be kind of small <coughs> Sorry. Uh, so then we apply some forces to the to the head of the trail, and there's a combination of surface follow to the collision geometry, it's gravity and friction, and there's a jittery force which is just randoms uh, x and y uh, make an x and y uh, vector out of them, no z components, and apply this as a force. So this is making the particles be a little bit jittery. Um, let's see if I can show it here. We tried actually with more, you know, kind of elaborate solutions, but it wasn't, you know, good enough. Uh, yeah, it wasn't worth the effort, I would say. 
So uh, this is actually working quite well. So then, then the next uh, fun thing is to, uh, yeah, I made the trail uh, quite easy, set reference, and you know, like save the the direction because of the uh, yeah connection to the parent particle. But yeah, the next uh, fun thing is the size of the particles. So we get the parent particle with the reference here, and it get its size and multiplied by like 0.2, and we use this for the minimum and maximum of the trail particle size, and then um, get get it uh, to over age, uh, be first quite big, and then uh, kind of go down quickly. So. Uh, you get this kind of this big in the start and then quite small. So you get like the, the leading tear drop, uh, sorry, <laughs> raindrop in the beginning, which is quite kind of big, and then it becomes the trail is quite small. And we save that 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 uh, radius that we get, like the size, into data channel. I think somewhere here. Yeah. So radius data channel, and we use that to uh, feed it into frost, so it can give the correct size to our particles. And then we just delete the the leads, the heads of the trails where when the velocity that they have uh, on the Z goes above something. So basically, when the particle, for example, gets here to the under chain, we limit the the amount uh, of particles that would go actually up, like on the other side of the chain. And that's something that when we apply all the, the random forces and the um, uh, surface follow, it's something that happens. Uh, but when we get this, like, yeah, so we delete them. So uh, we limit this kind of behavior. Uh, but we li limit it to some it's at the threshold. So we still do have some of the stuff you can see here, running up and down before it goes away, which is nice to have. We used to do some kind of drop-offs at these areas, but it was it was very interesting as a setup, but it was kind of visually too much to heavy, so we just removed them. And the trail particles just um, die off over time uh, with some kind of variation, so we get like this kind of drying off over time, uh, not all at the same time trail. So as you can see, very simple but very effective. Hopefully useful to you also at some point. Thank you. See you soon.